the West Indies should keep their squad together. They should keep the same team. There's no reason to change anybody. It's not broken, do not fix it. Nicolas Poran is the man at the moment. Give him the, the accolades that he deserves. We have seen the tail enders doing their thing. We would have loved to see that Odin Smith. We might say, all right, let's see Shea Hope is the best batsman that there is that, that there ever was. Welcome again to Red Night. If it's okay to be curious, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future video uploads and drop a comment. Now, guys, it's the eve of the third T20 international uh, between West Indies and India. As we all know, the West Indies is in a five match series. Now, the West Indies they have a 36% win probability, while India have 64% win probability. Um, the India team is a top two ICC. T20 international team. Sometimes they are number one, sometimes they are number two. It fluctuates between England and India. And we, that, that's why the probability is like this. We suggest that the West Indies will not have an easy task ahead of them. Now, the big question is, should the West Indies continue with the same squad that they used in the last match? What should the playing 11 be? My thought is that where it's not broken, do not fix it. At the moment, the West Indies, they are riding high. They are winning They are winning close matches. They are winning difficult matches with the squad that they chose, with the team that they chose. They have a squad here where we could say, all right, you know what? They should go ahead and they rotate some players, give some players a look. But I don't see any need for it. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Brandon King, he made a golden duck. It is what it is. They still win the match. He didn't get a chance to score runs and they still won. Yes, it could have gone a different way if he, if it was a more challenging total, right? But I would say don't don't fix it. Johnson Charles, he had been disappointing, obviously, in the match. But I wouldn't want to say, all right, bring in a guy who we su we suspect to be a better batsman than him. No, I would not say bring in somebody else because he failed in this one. I would say the team that is gelling together and have the confidence together that the that the leaders already have success with and have their confidence in they give keep them going do not fi break do not fix it if it's not broken the captain ravman powell is riding high he's winning he won two of three and he's actually on the verge of winning two series for two under his captaincy shimran at my i got introduced into the squad he made his contribution we are looking for a superstar he's not in star form at the moment but he's making the contribution jason holder he is the the faithful performer that we come to know and and um respect kyle myers he started out and we kind of got a glimpse of what we could have expected from kyle myers but it just didn't go his way. So I would, wouldn't say get anybody out at this moment to bring anybody else in. One of the person that we might want to say, all right, you know what? It would be good to see him coming in is Odin Smith. But for who? Would it be Alzari Joseph? Odin Smith is an all-rounder. But as I said, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Odin Smith, he is a person that we can hope to depend on when we need to. She Hope, we can hope to depend on him when we need to. Or Shane Thomas. We can hope to depend on these guys when we need to. After winning the series, let's say that we wrap the series up tomorrow, then we can introduce new players. But at the moment, no need. It's not broken. Just do not fix it. The West Indies squad at the moment is what it was. And the team that they will be using should be the ones that the one that they previously used. The two people who had a duck would have been Ramirez Shepherd and brandon king actually you know it's three jason holder as well there were some players there are some mishaps but we cannot say that get rid of um ramirez shepherd at the moment because he's one of those depth bowlers that are showing some farm so the west indies is in a good spot at the moment they're one two of two and this is what we need win even if it's a by one runs or one wicket or one ball uh, the victory is what we need the result the positive result so we keep the team exactly how it is what should we expect from india we should expect india to come out swinging india still see victory india is not a champion team it's been a, hadn't been a champion for a while but they have the confidence they believe in themselves but i think that they have the west indies syndrome because somehow West Indies picked up something down there in India, but now India is coming to show what West Indies picked up. It seems like the T20 
the IPL is catching up to India. They played their best cricket in the IPL and they know in the, on the international stage they have to find farm. And then they rest some of their best players. As a result, the West Indies could somehow beat India for the first time since 2016 in any format of cricket. That's what we can expect. So the big picture is West Indies could seal a series against India. West Indies 2-0 with three T20 international remaining have a chance to win their first series of series of two or more matches against india in any format since 2016 they also have a chance to compete back-to-back -back t20 international series win against two strong teams south africa it's been a while since any team actually went to south africa and beat south africa in south africa so there you have it and we have some players in farm we have nicholas puran he's coming off a high a victory in the mumbai indian new york team he is coming off a victory we somehow was able to get shimran it maya in in the squad uh, with other players and at the same time i don't even know how this happened where you get shimran it maya in the squad and you know what they're actually winning with the squad that they have and i want to say this i really don't believe that if it was up to the fans or even some of the management staff that we would have Shimran Maya in the squad or even the Obed McCoys these guys were playing franchise cricket only T20 franchise cricket going out somewhere else to make some money if it was left to the fans who would exact retribution on these cricketers who are trying to make a living for themselves and entertain their worldwide fans this team would not be out there on the pitch and to, this may also be a, to the detriment of India because India they have their own fans they have their own fans they have their own players that they love and respect and what we are seeing here is the IPL team that India chose on the pitch and the same team that India chose to be on the pitch is beating them this team I, did, I do not believe is a team that was chosen with all due respect by the West Indies or Cricket West Indies. I don't believe it was the West Indies choice absolutely. This might have been something that was influenced by India and the fan base and franchise clubs. Bringing Shimran Etmai is quite suspicious but it is still succulent. It's beautiful. It's nice. Now these guys, they are seeing some kind of victory and I'm still saying that we have three matches to go and we have known to lose everything we even in the match that we once we played yesterday there was a time when we had 95 percent opportunity to win and then we came back to the to almost losing ways then we we pull off a victory so we're not there yet we still have an opportunity to lose this series West Indies is known to snatch defeat out of victory not in this one please guys keep it together and there you have it as i'm saying that the west indies should keep their squad together they should keep the same team there's no reason to change anybody it's not broken do not fix it nicholas poran is the man at the moment give him the, the accolades that he deserved we have seen the tail enders doing their thing we would have loved to see that odin smith we might say all right let's see shea hope is the best batsman that there is that, that there ever was we have a team that is winning that's all that matters use the winning team keep winning and take it from there rewrite the narrative like share and subscribe